Chris, another great <laughs> win last week. What does that tell us about your squad? It tells us that we're, uh, you know, we're playing some good footy and we t- we're top four contenders. We, you know, we've got there through some some hard work and we've we've um, we, we we picked up some really good wins along the way. And to pick up three wins in that uh, in that like mini Easter period that we've we've just come through is a is a credit to you know to everybody involved, not just the players, but. You know, I think the medical staff and the performance people have uh, have been working overtime over the last, well, all, all season really, but especially the last probably seven to ten days to make sure we, we've got a team out on the field. So, uh, you know, a lot of credit goes to to the people behind the behind the scenes, to my medical people, and um, you know they don't get all the the the, the credit that they deserve, but uh, you know they do work the rocks off, and um, you know very thankful for that. The big games come thick and fast. Uh, cup next week, but. Before that, a top four clash with Leeds. It feels like this is the biggest work in Leeds game for a long time. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's exciting. Um, by all accounts, it's going to be a sellout as well, which is uh, which is fantastic. Just mean, it means that we're doing something right on the right on the field and off it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. A, a great local derby. And we underperformed when we went to to Headingley. It's probably you know the, the the one game this year where I've been very disappointed with the with the effort from from the guys and. Um, you know there were a lot of circumstance, you know a lot of reasons why, but we we didn't want to use our excuse. Short turnaround, and the, we only had thirty minute training session the day before the game. Um, but uh, it's two two really good sides going hammer and tongue against each other, and I've been really impressed with these these last last few weeks. Um, they, they've got a settled squad now, settled side, and few few injuries and looking at the squad I think they've named one to one to seventeen, aren't they? One to eighteen squad numbers, which is uh, means they've got a nice healthy squad. Um but looking forward to it. It's a, it's a great derby, great uh, great spectacle and uh, you know we feel that uh, we need to perform a lot better than what we have done over these last few weeks if we are to get a result. People have mentioned that word consistency, all of a sudden there is consistency, seven wins on the spin. I mean it's almost unheard of in Super League these days. Yeah, it is. It is, but uh, it's no fluke. They've, they've been they've been putting the hard work. They're putting the hard work in pre-season, and and that's finally uh, you know that's finally paying off. And we always knew that these guys had a, a, a good run in them. Um, it's probably taken us staff a little bit by surprise the the the, the wins that we've we've picked up along the way. Um, certainly the certainly the the Salford one. We, we, you know, regards the the injuries that we picked up the previous. Uh, the previous game, but uh, you know we're a good rugby league side. We're playing some attractive football, um, and uh, you know we're, we're very, very difficult to beat when we're when we complete high and kick the ball well, and and that's what we've been doing these last few weeks. And we need more of the same this this week against uh, Leeds. And I think the last time we played Leeds, we gave them seven. Uh, I think we kicked the ball dead six or seven times, and. You can't afford to do that against uh, Leeds. They've got some big outside backs and and a, a big forward pack as well. I've been really impressed with Matt Parcells and and, and his uh, relationship with Cuth- Cuthbertson. Uh, they're very very difficult to uh, to hold on to. Um, but uh, we'll 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 worry about what we've what we've done well in the last few weeks. And uh, you know I'm looking forward to to a good physical. Local derby. The neutral will be looking at Fafita and Cuthbertson as two of the form forwards. We'll be looking forward to see how they go because they both bring a lot to each other's teams, don't they? Yeah, Dave's gone well. Dave's gone um, <clears throat> very well. He's, he, he carried a little bit of not going into the uh, into the Salford game, but put his hand up. Um, but two contrasting, cut uh, two contrasting players, aren't they? You know. Dave's pretty much direct and finds his front well, quick play the ball. Cuthbertson's more footwork and uh, and late offload and um, yeah, two really good, um, two really good players. But you know, in terms of the pack, we've 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 got some big, some, got some big blokes in there as well that are playing some good footy. Anthony England, I thought had his best game of the weekend. Keegan Hurst, um, that's really really stood up these last few weeks when he's. When he's needed to, and we've got we've got Mitch Allgood back this week, it'll make a a, a big difference for us. Um, so yeah, we we're looking forward to it. It's two two really good sides that are playing some good football and are on a decent run. And like I said, we we just need to make sure that we uh, we hit our KPIs and control the control the ball. And if we do that, then I'm confident we can come away with a result. A lot of people probably would have forgiven you for maybe looking at next week or quarter final. You've got to go back to Salford, but is it? 
get this week out of the way and then we'll see where we're at after that or? Yeah, to be honest we've not really discussed the uh, or we've certainly not spoke to the players about the Challenge Cup it's more um, we're focused on on making sure we, uh, we we put in a good performance against Leeds and uh, you know I'm going to rest a couple of players just people like Craig Hugo that's played some big minutes um, I don't think he's had a rest this season and is uh, he needs a he needs a week off or, or he certainly get a few days off and then he's back in on Thursday. Reese Lynn that's been struggling with a hamstring and a back problem, um, and Ashley Gibson that's struggled with a knee. But so we brought in Bill Tupu into the squad and Arundel will be in there in the centre, and obviously Mitch and, and Dean come in. So we've got probably four or five fresh bodies again this this week and. We'll probably have three or four uh, fresh bodies going into the into the Challenge Cup, but the the main focus has been getting a result this this week, and then we'll worry about the Challenge Cup when uh, when uh, you know we come back in on Monday. People will look at it as a top four battle, and obviously it is, but there's a bigger picture because the teams six and below are just falling away a little bit. If you can get some more points on the board quickly, you're really putting the pressure on. Yeah, them. that's it. There's a there's there's a there's a little cushion there. Uh, you know, six points to to Wigan. I know Saints have got a game in hand. I'm not too sure who that is against, but uh, yeah, there's a nice little gap there appearing, and it's a, it's important that we keep us foot down on the uh, on the pedal and. I think out of those last five games, we've got four at home or three, whichever way it is. Uh, sorry, six games, we've got four at home. Uh, so we've got a very good opportunity to finish, you know, the highest this club's ever finished uh, in, in, in Super League. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll chalk, try and chalk off a, uh, get this one chalked off first. We're looking forward to the to the Derby game and it should be a great spectacle in front of a, in front of a full house. Uh, and just finally, Ben Jones Bishop, new deal for him. Uh, I know you've had to beat off some stiff competition to keep hold of him. You must be delighted with that. Yeah, it's uh, it's 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 another show of an intent isn't it, from the from the club. You know, I can't take credit for this one. This is all Michael's work. Michael works very hard behind the scenes and and deals with all the, uh, the all the agents. I just tell Michael which players I I want and. Which players uh, you know I want from overseas, and he tries his best to to bring them players in. But Bish has been fantastic for us this year. Um, you know I'm sure that uh, he'll be knocking on the on the door at the end of the year for for the internationals. I think he's playing some really good, consistent football, uh, world class finisher, and um, you know he's a nice kid to have around. So to have him for another three years is is, is massive for this for this club. And like I said, another real show of intent with. With Bish and along with Dave and, and, and Milky and a few others, a few others as well. So uh, yeah, really pleased. And the fact that you've got so many tied up so quickly does that mean now you're almost cherry picking who you want to come in to add to that rather than looking for bodies to fill your squad up? With? Well, the league position certainly certainly helped. Um, you know, we found that with with Australia, you know, some some agents in Australia wanting to uh, offering us offering us some very very good players from 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 over there. Um, but uh, you know we. With the World Cup coming up, it's important that we we, we just leave a little bit in the uh, a li- little bit in the tank just in case anything comes anything comes up. But yeah, finishing in that finishing in the uh, in the top six or, or the top four as we hope um, has really helped with 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 the retention and uh, and signings of uh, players both here and and overseas.